Hefferts are here for another fake Nandroid vs real Nandroid video. This time it's a request by Jazz Jackson. I'm sorry it took me this long but here it is. Anyway in this video I will show you the Nandroid comparison in order. First we'll compare the box details. Then we compare the Nandroid parts. Third we'll compare the articulation between the real and the fake light Nandroid. Next will be the price difference, and lastly, I will share with you my final thoughts about the differences between Light's real Nandroid versus his fake Nandroid. Let's begin with the top of the box. We see a lot of details missing already. The fake Light Nandroid below does not have the Goodsmog Company logos, the anime series title, and even the product name. Aside from the messy product inside, which we can clearly see through the window, notice that the same details are still missing. The fake light Nandroid doesn't have the anime series logo top right side of his box. It's also empty on the other side. No Guzma company logo or any printed detail. On the transparent window of the real light Nandroid, we see his product's name and the sculptor information printed in white, while the fake on the right doesn't have those. We also see that there are a lot of details on the left, like the Guzma company logo or the Shuisha, Shuisha? <laughs> Shuisha sticker for example. We don't see such details on the box of the fake Nandroid on the right. Right side of both boxes are almost identical. One of the differences are the size of the photos used. The fake light Nandroid on the right has photos that are a bit bigger. The prints are more saturated as well in comparison to the real light Nandroid on the left. There is also no Goodsma company logo at the bottom for the fake Nandroid. Left side, same difference. Photo size, fake on the right, having a darker color and no Goodsma Company logo present at the bottom. Finally, the back part. Let's start with the top. No Goodsma Company logo and product name can be seen on the fake's box again. Like the other sides of its box, the photos used are darker compared to the original. It's getting on my nerves that the bootlegs have no consistency at all. Sometimes they pour so much details on the box, it could be surely mistaken as an authentic. And sometimes, like this one, the box is almost empty. It makes me pissed off for some reason. But as you can see, there are a lot of details missing. It's pretty obvious which one is the fake already. Remember that real Nandroids will always have the box with their QR code for good small customer support. Let's open both boxes from the bottom, starting with the real light Nandroid. As you can see, there are printed details on one of its dust flaps. Behind the cardboard is the manual. The fake on the other hand is empty. No details on both dust flaps and there is also no manual present. The real light Nandroid has a separate dark pink to purple cardboard background without any details printed on it. Meanwhile, the fake Nandroid's box has no separate cardboard background and is painted with yellow to orange light color. We can also see the numbers 1160 on the rear panel. It's actually a little bit impressive how the plastic blisters are getting close to what the real one looks like. In the future, this might not be easy to notice anymore as they are close to achieving the mold and the thickness. All fakes are of course different, but the one I got looks messy. The main body is covered with sticky tape. The scythe is free from any hindrance though. In addition, both extra faceplates are secured with a wide sticky tape. The real light Nandroid on the other hand looks clean and only has a mild sticky tape in front of his scythe while the other parts are covered with plastic separately. This is their second plastic blister side by side. The real light Nandroid left side while the fake on the right. As you can see, only the middle part is secured with the tape on the left. The fake Nandroid on the other hand is completely enveloped with a sticky tape of the same size as the plastic blister. Now this may make them secure for sure, however this will surely damage the item underneath. Here are the main bodies of both Nandroids close together. Notice that the real light Nandroid has a darker paint on most parts. Fake on the right has thin gaps in between the back hair and the front hair or bangs. Moreover, the size difference is observable. Look at how the front hair almost fills half of the fake's face, reaching the ends of the eyes. Also, what's up with the dark lip tint light? Anyway, let's compare the extra face plates this time. Let's just settle for one sample pair for now. The real light Nandroid on the left looks more sinister in my opinion. The eyeballs and the shadows appear darker. The fake light Nandroid also has this white paint on his eyeballs, while well, the real light doesn't have that. The fake light Nandroid right side still uses the old faceweight format for Nandroids. This is one of the obvious differences that anyone could spot right away. One of light's accessories is his death scythe. Unfortunately, they almost look identical. 
It's hard to identify a fake this way, but I noticed that the Real Light's Death Scythe uses more shadows or dark shades, while the Fake Light's Death Scythe is just painted with plain gold. Alright, so I was told some fakes are able to copy this detail, but so far all of the fake Nandroids I had missed this. So all of the Good Smile Company's authentic Nandroids are carved with their Smiley logo. Clearly the fake's extra neck joint doesn't have this feature. Just a small detail, but the real light's pen left side has a silver ballpoint while the fake is just painted with all black. Apple is one of light's iconic accessory. This is easy to spot. The real one is shiny while the fake one has a smooth matte finish. The Death Notes look almost the same as well. The only difference is that the fake has some messy paint with the notes cover. You can clearly see the white paint which represents the pages, I guess? It somehow goes beyond the notebook's cover. Articulation time, let's test the real light Nandroid first. Head can be moved side to side with no problem. Head can move up and down too, but it looks like light has a stiff neck. <laughs> Arms can be moved up and down. Hips can move smoothly side to side. Legs can move front to back. Now the fake light Nandroid. He can do the exorcist move, no problem. Head can move up and down with no issues as well. Arms can move up and down, but it feels a bit forced or stuck. The same as the previous fake Nandroids I had. Hips can rotate. Legs can be moved front and back. However, the same as the arms, it's not a smooth articulation. Alright, so I pre-ordered Light Yagami's Nandroid for less than 50 US dollars in conversion. However, Light's price now is around 100 to 200 US dollars. Which is honestly crazy. I bought the fake light Android for 15 US dollars only, including the shipping fee. I know the gap is really big. I understand a fan sentiment and we can't always sacrifice so much money for a little luxury item that we can't even take out of the box sometimes. I only wish for people to give authentic figures more support and chances. I know money is an issue but I believe it's best to save money and support authentic products. They worked really hard for it, only to get ripped off. Before we end, I'd like to say thank you so so much for those who waited for my return. I've been busy for the past month and people were checking how I was doing and asking when I would upload new content. I truly appreciate your efforts and support. It pushed me to resume making videos. Thank you so much for staying with me. Also, you might be wondering why the fake light Nandro didn't have a stand or base. Unfortunately, the stand can't fit the hole behind his body and can't even support him. I had to use adhesive tackets to make him stand. The video ends here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm back and I'll be doing the usual weekly videos again, so expect to see me again next week. I hope you enjoyed our fake Nandroid vs. real Nandroid of Light Yagami somehow. Always choose to be kind and see you in my next video.